What's up everyone, today I am so excited to unbox my first JDM reel and it's not just any JDM reel, this is my first JDM BFS reel, bait finesse system or another way to say ultralight bait caster and uh, most of you guys already know what it is but I just want to give a shout out to Japan Lure Shop because they sent it so quick to me. I ordered basically last week uh, like a little past midnight and on a Tuesday and I got on the following Wednesday. So it was in a week with the Labor Day weekend. And it came in this box here, all right? Nicely packaged up, there's like bubble wraps and everything. And look at that, it's pretty uh, earth friendly here, okay? But uh, yeah, it's a small box, packaged very well. You can see that this box here is not even damaged. And it used FedEx, so man, so fast. And they also gave me a gift. And the gift is this, Jackal RV Minnow 110. So uh, this is definitely not a BFS lure. So we definitely play with this during a fall. And look at that, I'll tell you like a recommendation exactly what to use. But uh, yeah, this thing is like half ounce. So it's uh, relatively, relatively heavy, but I got some rods for that. But anyway, guys, oh my gosh, here we go. Alpha's Air TW, left hand reel, 8.6. 8.6, that's some speedy stuff, guys. All right, um, before I even get into it, oh, look at that, some Japanese specs. Well, actually, it's all in English, so it's perfectly fine. Anyway, um, 8.6 to one gear ratio, super fast. I love fast reels and having a fast ultralight bait caster, fun, fun. 160 grams, so I'm gonna weigh that so you guys know what it is in ounces but that is pretty light. And the max drag is three and a half kilograms. So that's actually very light. It's probably lighter than any of my CDM BF BFS reels. So that equates to around seven something, but that's super light. And 75 centimeters per rotation has six ball bearings. I believe that's a ball bearing right there. And um, I'm not gonna read through that, but you see that it's recommendation, floral and nylon for five pounds as the minimum. I'm gonna be using four pound model, but anyways, anything else cool here? Oh, we gotta point this one out right here. KTF, they actually worked with an aftermarket uh, company to build a spool and KTF is like famous for making great aftermarket spools for BFS, BFS um, reels and uh, for Daiwa to team up with them. Oh my gosh, that's pretty sick. But anyway, let's skip everything else. Let's stop the chip chat and just get right into this. Wow, look at that, I'm just like, absorbing this box and I don't want to open it, but I do want to open it. All right, some Japanese stuff here. I guess I can't read any of these stuff and any stickers. Yeah, schematics. I guess I can't read anything here, but uh, oh, you know what? I noticed something. We don't need to read anything to understand what this is. Okay, it's all about the spool and a line could go in that groove. So let's just take a look at this sexy reel. And it's like in this clear wrapper. It's so noisy, but it looks good. But let me uh, let me unwrap this for you guys. You can skip the noise. Oh my gosh, look at that. I already hit the little thing right here, but that's good that has a clicker on the star drag. Uh, I really don't like the reels that doesn't have them because sometimes when you knock it in, it just spins all over the place, but that, that's good. Oh man, so smooth. And <laughs> look at that spool, the KTF spool. I shouldn't spin it too fast for you guys. I'll spin it slowly, but look at that. It's so beautiful, it's like octagon or hexagon, hexagon shapes, and those little two little slots right there. And then this groove right here is what you guys saw in that little document where you could tie your line on here and it just hides the knot so it doesn't click, uh, um, clip it while you're, the spool is spinning. So it doesn't slow down from any sort of casting, right? It doesn't uh, prevent you from casting distances. And with a T-wing system, they say that it will increase by, you know, casting distance by 5%. It's a Daiwa exclusive little line guide system. So amazing. Man, as expected, any sort of uh, thing from Japan, it's, it's just super smooth. If you guys even want to listen, you don't even hear anything. That is so amazing. Made in Thailand, okay, okay. Here's the brake system right here on the side. So it goes to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So exactly 20 clicks. So each number itself is one click. Okay. The heck is, can I even spin this? By the way, guys, I never really even researched this reel other than watching a few YouTubers. Like we have Tackle Visor, we have The Real Test, we have Hobie Wan Kenobi, and uh, many folks on Facebook on, uh, uh, you know, some groups. And I saw the group, folks said there's one more left and I just bought it from Japan Lord's shop. So yes, I actually got the official last one and thank God it was left hand reel. Uh, but anyway, this does not, can I spin this? Oh yes, I can. So this is the tension knob. I was like looking at this from far and especially in the pictures, I was like, is this like a fixed tension? Like, you know, like have no tension or something. All right, this, this, this is amazing. And I love the color accent. Like, look at this, like dark, you would say gun metal for the body. Okay. And then you have the aluminum, aluminum handle. I think this might be plastic. It might be. And you have this grippy hard plastic thing here. I believe this might be using bushings. So I might just upgrade that to like bearings or heck guys, you see all these red right here? And guys, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. Obviously I'm going to upgrade the heck out of this too. I know there's a row roll spool for this. So it's going to be red too. So I'm thinking I might get a aftermarket uh, handle here. Okay. So it's like carbon fiber. So it makes it even lighter. And then I'm going to have like red handles. So if you guys have a recommendation, you guys could leave it in the comments below so I can look up some options. But you know, obviously there's a ton on AliExpress. Um, I don't know if I want to go like CDM Chinese cheap thing. I might even go like higher end and start looking at the Japanese stuff, you know, but, um, we'll see, we'll see. I don't know uh, where my fund is going to be at after, you know, <laughs> spending money on this right here. And then, you know, I spend money for that roll spool. But yeah, guys, this is so amazing. I think the first thing I'll do is out of the box it doesn't even wiggle. So let's just loosen it maybe. Oh, it does loosen. So yeah, out of the box, it was just, it probably was too imperfect. Now that I screwed, I probably screwed it up. But anyway, I just want to do this. Oh man. Oh yeah. I don't know if they lubed it up, but you know, it feels really nice. And guys, look how small this spool is. In fact, I'm going to take this apart right now so you guys can see it. But uh, before I even do that, I promise you guys, I'll put on ounce because you know, we Americans like ounces. So that's grams. Ounces. I'm gonna actually pop it right back over to uh, grams for a second, but this is 5.6 too. And let's double check. Uh, so it's a little under the um, 160 gram. So it could be off on my end. But um, yeah, if we go back to the ounces, look at that 5.6. That's, that's freaking amazing. And let me get this out of the way. It's actually in the, the screen. So this is where you pop this thing out. All right. Now, what do you do here? Do I twist? Oh, wait. Okay, you just pull it out. Okay, okie dokies. Let's take a look at this right here for a second. Look at that, That that is a small bearing. So th these are already micro bearings, I believe. Holy smokes. So I probably don't even need to upgrade, but I know they're Roro bearings, so I probably would swap out just to, just to see what's going on. I, I noticed out of factory, likely they would put some sort of oil in it. And um, I don't want to clean this because I want to keep everything factory for a little bit, especially for testing. But I will probably upgrade it. If you guys have experience with the uh, JDM reels, with these uh, JDM uh, micro bearings, I know Shimano ones, those are crazy. I heard like you don't even swap those and it's so expensive to replace. But these Daiwa ones, do we swap these? I don't know. But so let's just jump to the spool, the KTF. Spool right there. Look at that. It's so small. This is a 28 millimeter spool. So it's like Steez size. And then you have the inductor right there. Oh man, look at that. Okay, so it twists. So crazy. And then here's another bearing right there. Look at that. It's like the silver shield right there. But if you could actually take a look, you guys probably can't see it from the camera. I'll try to do my best to do it. But this is actually a micro bearing in here, so that, that's crazy. Anyway, why don't we get some weight on this? Oh, look at that, eight on a dot. I, I think it might be heavier, supposedly with the, the bearing. Look, 8.1, okay. So this thing, if I took the bearing off, took the bearing off, it would be like 
in the sevens, like high sevens. So that's amazing. Let me grab another spool here because my favorite uh, CDM BFS reel right now is the casting Zephyr, which nobody can uh, get their hands on. Only, you know, the folks who already bought it, bought it in the beginning, they have it. So let me wait that for a second. Make sure it's right. 8.8. .8. So something's wrong with this cheap scale. I might have to upgrade scales, but you know, 8.60. Yeah, that's just saying it's probably broken now. But I want to show you guys. Look at that. Two totally different size spools. Now I would think that this will cast better because it has a bigger diameter, right? So each rotation is dispensed more line than this small guy. But this guy here is lighter, right? So this guy should spin faster, so it should still dispense more uh, more line per cast. So, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I never done a, what do you call that? The one gram lore test. I know a lot of uh, YouTubers want to do that. The trout magnet, it has a 132nd ounce jig and then a little plastic and it's like close to one gram. I know some people tried doing it out of the box and then I know people who have upgraded to the row roll spool and have done it successfully, but I. Never done it with the casking, but this video is not about the casking, although it is my favorite for the CDM's, uh, CDM uh, BFS reel. I am actually curious how do they pit against each other. But let's take a look at this. Look at that, even more red here. There's red here, it's red everywhere. Holy smokes. And one thing I don't know if you guys realize, you have a uh, screw here, screw here, and screw here, and they are all like hex octagon or something like that. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's Allen keys basically. So uh, if I need to open this thing up to do any maintenance or uh, if I need to swap the bearing on the side right here, that means I have to take the whole thing apart with uh, some Allen keys. So I gotta look up what's the size and probably purchase that. But that's a surprise. It's totally different than you know your typical reels. I don't know if my other Daiwa is like that either. I have a Tattoola that I ha have purchased this year and I really didn't really spend much time with it. I might jump back to that, but I am just in awe right now. Like I'm so excited. It's like nighttime. I don't think I can sleep after I unbox this. Holy smokes, I might sleep with it. All right, so let's put this back together. Locked. I like this right here. I like how this sits here rather than down here. Cause like, I remember when I used to fish with like 13 fishing that the uh, inception reel, each time I put this reel, the rod and reel into the rod holder, it smacks this whole thing and the plate just falls right off. So that's, that's terrible. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to take this out. Again, I'm gonna be using four pound mono and maybe even uh, some braid too, but I'm looking at the side right here, okay? There doesn't look like I have any sort of gap where your line could go through. Like I checked out, let's, let's do Serenoia for a second. I have that one close by. There's a gap here and yes, even four pound mono once in a while, it could happen with a backlash, uh, bird nest thing just go right in here. The line goes into here, but it's pretty rare for the four pound test line. Uh, I think it's the same for the Zephyr too, but we, we're not gonna look at that for right now because we won't focus on this reel. A um, couple more things I guess we look at. Oh, look at that drag, it's pretty quiet. So no clicker. It's like instant drag, that's, that's pretty good. I really like T-Wing. Watch this, Transformers, robot in disguise. This actually does look like some sort of like transformer face. Look at that, it's pretty crazy. Autobots, roll out. <laughs> but guys, that is it for my unboxing. I am so stoked. First BFS reel ever from um, Japan, JDM, BFS reel. Oh my God, so excited. I can't wait to do a cast test. I am assuming everyone wants me to push this to the limit and just uh, cast as light as possible. Uh, you know, my typical stuff that I cast are relatively light, but I don't use that, you know, the one gram challenge. But I have a new toy here. This is at the 116 level. I know you guys have seen me throw the Z Viber before. It's the ice fishing jig, but this is the new version, which is micro. It's still 116 ounce, but it's super duper small. I mean, let me just take this out if I can pop it out safely without hooking myself. And it comes with a treble hook too, and it starts off with a single hook. Look how small that is. Like if I place it right next to the spool, look how small that is. So I think this um, this cast test video that's coming up is gonna be very, very fun. I'm gonna be throwing this guy and see how far it goes. And then obviously I probably keep using the same lures that I normally typically throw. So you, you know, stay consistent. But anyway guys, this is my unboxing for my first JDM BFS reel. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video and also 
Uh, for those who've been here for a while watching me uh, exploring the world of BFS, my journey for BFS gears basically, right? Mm, almost two years now, so it's uh, very exciting. I've been focused mainly on budget BFS gears, like really uh, mainly uh, Chinese based ones, so CDM, uh, reels. I have the, you know, both, uh, actually three uh, Suranoia reels. I got the XF50 first, then went to Spirit Fox, which is the same thing, and then went to the Shallower Spool. Then I uh, also got the GH100. I got the new Kyodom Black Knight, which is basically uh, the Fishband GH100 uh, copycat. And then I jumped on the casking stuff that came out, and, you know, I have the new uh, Zephyr, which is sold out everywhere, which you guys kind of saw that spool earlier, which is right here. And uh, I'm playing around with the Valiant Eagle right now, so I'm gonna wrap that up very soon. I do wanna say one thing to you guys, just because I jumped into the JDM world, doesn't mean I'm gonna stop exploring uh, CDM stuff, cause I'm a clumsy guy, so I'll continue playing around with budget stuff. Heck, I might not even take this on uh, Kayak, cause I dropped many reels, <laughs> rod and reel combos into the water. And if this ever drops in the water, I'm jumping in for it. I don't care, I'm gonna swim, I have my eyeballs open. I do not care. Heck, I might even buy like a snorkel gear just in case and stash it into my dry bag. But yeah guys, don't worry, I will still do budget BFS stuff. Any new great stuff, I will go out there and try. And heck, if you guys have anything you want me to test, leave me in the comments below whenever I drop you know videos. Whenever I buy a new reel, I reprioritize whatever is still left on the, the list. So um, yeah, just keep in touch. You know, I thank you guys for watching my videos commenting and liking my videos, it really uh, means a lot to me. In fact, it's what drove me to explore even more BF BFS gears. So I wanna thank you guys for that. Anyway guys, the fish don't wait, and heck, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna spool something up and go out there and cast some lures. Peace out.